Good evening, Brazos Valley Keg Sports coming to you on the road once again from Big 12 Media Days at AT&T Stadium in Arlington with Mike Lucas. As always, I'm Justin Woodard. Last night we focused a lot on wide receivers such as Xavier Hutchinson and Brian Darby. But you know what? Other Brazos Valley stars like Devondre Sweat, and Kobe Harville Peel have something to say about all those touchdowns being scored. Absolutely. Now, we're at the home of the Cowboys yes. at NFL Stadium, and there's a chance that some of our former Brazos Valley stars will call a place like this home on Sundays in a few years, especially Harville Peel, who mm -hmm. came back to Oklahoma State for his senior season to help improve his draft stock. No doubt about it. The ball hawking Oklahoma State safety originally entered his name into the 2021 NFL draft before announcing he's going to return to Stillwater instead for his senior campaign. Over his three-year career, Harvell Peel has been one of the most productive DBs in the entire country with nine forced turnovers to his name already, including five interceptions, Mike, during the 2019 season. Harvell Peel battled injuries in 2020, but he was still a no-brainer to make the Big 12's preseason all-conference team this year. The former A&M Consolidated star said he wanted to run it back with the Cowboys to help boost up his draft stock and prove that his versatility is what allows the Cowboys defense to be so aggressive. He plays a position in that secondary that's so important in our league based on all the run pass stuff that we see. Gives us a lot of experience. During his career he's been a lot like Sean Lewis was, a guy that played for us several years ago and um, just kind of always when there was a ball tipped or a ball on the ground he was standing around there and made a play um, and Peel's been like that for us so that's a good thing. It's a tremendous help he's back there you know and you got offices that doesn't want to you know throw it toward his side because he's a playmaker so it's always good to have him behind my back and him and I go way back since uh, you know he first got here so it's always good to have a guy like that. You know what the Brazos Valley is producing all kinds of safety prospects these days don't forget Jared Kerr of Lexington he'll Just be going to where? Texas A&M yeah. recently. Yep and Northwestern star Brandon Joseph, he's from College Station. All he did last year, lead the entire nation with six interceptions. Don't Elite. throw the ball. Do no. not throw the ball All near those guys. Okay, now helping them up front to the defensive line. Longhorns here, a big focus on day two at Big 12 Media Days. Well, their defensive line, pretty good, thanks to Devondre Sweat of Huntsville. Yeah, he's been blowing up both on and off the field. When we saw him play for the Hornets, he weighed 290 pounds. Today, He's checking in at close to 330. That's elite size for a defensive tackle prospect, and it's something that makes him one of the most intriguing D-line prospects in the entire class. It's that combination of size, skill, and measurables that make pro football focus call him one of the top defensive line prospects to watch heading into the 2021 season. Mike, just tell him to take it easy in the Red River shootout. But for real, it's hard not to notice someone who stands six foot three, 330 pounds, who gobbles up offensive linemen like candy on Halloween. Sweat, though, like the entire Texas team, needs to be more consistent, and he'll look to build upon his four tackles for loss last season. Sweat is a, uh, I mean, he's a big physical guy. He's, he's, he's got initial quickness. He's talented. Um, you know, the, the, the key for us, we didn't have him all spring ball long. And so to get him back now for fall camp is going to be critical. I thought I was big until I see him. It just makes me look little sometimes. But Tavondre, uh, he's athletic. He has the ability to probably play linebacker. He's just in a big, big frame, to be honest. Uh, he probably one one of the best pass rushers we have on the team, precise with every move, not just bull rush. I'm talking about finesse. He's finesse very nice. The fun part about having so many Brazos Valley stars in this conference, the Big 12, well, they get to play against each other on Saturdays, and we get to watch them square off. Now let's talk about the Texas Tech Red Raiders now, who haven't had a winning season since 2015. But things in Lubbock are finally starting to point up in year three of the Matt Wells era. The Red Raiders have recruited well, and that includes grabbing three-star Nate Floyd out of AM Consolidated. He's a defensive back, and you also have Rockdale running back Cameron Valdez, and Mike, he has a chance to play as a true freshman. He was a four-star recruit coming out of Rockdale, a top 300 recruit overall in the country. There's been so much turnover on Tech's roster lately that it's hard to get a feel for who will and who won't play this fall, but we do know this. The higher the competition level in practice, the more success the team sees on Saturdays, and our two former FNL stars are helping raise that bar. Nate's a combo kind of guy. He can play corner. He can play cover safety. Um, he's got really good coverage skills, but uh, you know I think as his body continues to mature and get stronger, uh, he'll be a more physical tackler. He's a very willing tackler right now, but uh, you know I think 
his versatility is his best asset right now. And we have a really good running back room coming back this year, and I, I know Cameron's a really good uh, player too, and he'll add a lot of value to our running back room. So I'm looking forward to watching him play this year and uh, kind of start his career. You see shiftiness. You see home run speed. Um, you saw a very durable back in high school. You saw uh, the ability to guys to make guys miss. Uh, he catches the ball well out of the backfield. All right, uh, it's been fun. That's SEC Media Day's next. You so. got it. We'll see y'all next week in Birmingham. <laughs> Reporting now from AT&T Stadium, Mike Lucas, Justin Woodard.